Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us here on our live recording of the Block Talk podcast here on Facebook Gaming. I'm your host, See Through. For those of you that don't know, I'm a Minecraft streamer on Facebook Gaming, and I started this podcast to give my community some additional content to listen to on the daily. Shortly, this podcast will be searchable on all podcast platforms. And today, guys, we have a super special guest, good friend of mine, Mr. Texas Toast. Texas Toast is a streamer here on Facebook Gaming. And just like Red Baron from yesterday's show, he's a high council member of the Sandbox Kids. Give it up, everybody, for Mr. Toast. Hello, hello, everybody. How you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Super special, he says. Super just special. Super special. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it just means you're specialer than the not so super special people. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right, guys. So we're going to ask Mr. Toast here a couple questions. Hopefully get y'all guys... Um, a little bit more let me switch screens here i forgot to switch screens derp Bloop. hey there we are hello <laughs> uh hopefully give you guys a little bit more insight onto who is texas toast who is this guy other than oh, just a is. minecraft streamer what does he like to do what does he like to what does he like to listen to what's he like to watch like things like that off the beaten path and hopefully uh what a sultry voice mm, trey says what a sultry voice sultry voice <laughs> sultry yeah. And hi, everybody else in the chats. It's all, it's all editing. It's, it's, it's all fake. It's all fake. Um, all right. So we're going to start this off with a question about the Sandbox Kids. Okay. Sure. What are your building plans for season two? Mm -mm. It's <laughs> my building plans actually have a lot to do with the upcoming story. Um, so I don't want to tell I don't want to tell too much. Yeah, don't tell but... too much. But what I will say is next next season has the theater rap, one of the other sandbox kids. He said he's going to have a school of redstone. I'm not good at redstone when it comes to Minecraft. I like to build. I love to build. Uh, and I, I like to make things look cool. They're not functional, though, at all. Like, usually there ain't no room in there for anything. But, <laughs> but this coming season, I'm going to I'm going to take I'm going to I'm going to join his 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 school of redstone his school of hard knocks and redstone and you're gonna and learn gonna, today i'm gonna learn i'm gonna learn and i'm just gonna make machines so i'm gonna have you'll see you'll see when you see but yeah there's we, there's big plans coming we can't indulge big too plans. much information here we can't release too much info yeah and and I, I i have a feeling that um what i'm gonna be doing is gonna have a, a pretty big uh pretty big impact on the overall story of where we're going next Heck yeah, awesome. Uh, let us know. Tell us a little bit about your journey as a mm -hmm. streamer. Break it into like a few different parts from beginning to now. Uh, sure. Just anything you've learned along the way, where you started, why you started, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, so um, five, a little over five years ago, um, I got divorced. Um, and we just had a kid, um, Baby Toast. He's actually here. He's over there. Um Let's see here. I moved out, got an apartment, uh, was working nonstop, like all the time. I, I would work my day job and then I'd go to a night job and I'd, I was just working just to stay busy, just to keep my mind off of things, you know? So I was going through some stuff, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Yeah, we've um, all been there. Yeah, and I love, I love playing Pokemon Go. And I was really playing po uh, a lot of Pokemon Go at the time. And I, I had stayed up all day playing Pokemon Go one weekend was a mythic team mythic yep, yep. mystic man team mystic <laughs> mystic that's what it is if you're, if you're <laughs> on anything else, you're just, wrong. <laughs> just wrong it's team mystic all the way baby anyway um the nintendo game the nintendo switch game pokemon let's go eevee had just come out and uh i was watching one of the youtubers play pokemon let's go eevee and I had realized I hadn't eaten anything all day, and I was just watching the, I was just playing Pokemon and watching Pokemon all day, you know. And this yep. was new to me. Like watching people play video games was new to me. Right. And that was about four years ago. I'd never watched anybody. Eh, it was probably about three and a half years ago. I don't know. It wasn't that long ago that I got into consuming this type of content. Right. 
and I like it because it's more genuine than what you get on like television or something like that. Like uh, uh, streamers are, we're not actors per se. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. we're we're a little bit more um, realistic, you know, than what you get on TV, I guess. And I like it because it's it's stuff that I care about too. But anyway, I took a break. I finally ate. I opened up Facebook, scrolling through Facebook while I'm eating. And I see somebody playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. And I'm like, whoa, there's video games on Facebook. And this guy was super cool. And so the YouTuber that I was watching live stream had like a million subscribers. And yeah, his right. chat was, you know. That's crazy. This guy was smaller, you know. He, he had, I don't know how many viewers at the time, a decent amount. And, but I was able to put something in his chat and he was able to talk back to me. It do wasn't you like- Do you remember that, who he was? I do, yeah. He still streams. Huh, that's He's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I thought that was super cool. And then, so the next day I go to sleep, I wake up, check my phone. I find another streamer, a different streamer uh, who was relatively new. I think at the time that I followed him, he had about 800 followers. I joined, I, I followed him. I started talking with him. He's a super cool dude. He still streams. He's got like 200,000 followers now, and he's a partner on Facebook. It's, so I watched this guy grow all the way to, to the top. You That's know? awesome. And uh, and I was I was thinking, man, I, I want to try this. I want to try it. it. This sounds like fun. I can use my skill, you know? Yep. I love to talk to people. I love people, actually. I really like people a lot. You like their faces too, from what I've heard. I like, I like their faces. Yeah, I like people. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, there's always, the, there's always, the, oh, I hate people, I can't stand people. I'm the opposite of that. Like, I want to be around people. I want to talk to, I talk to strangers all the time. So I was like, yeah, I, I feel like that's a skill. So I'm going to give this a try. So I did. I started a page. I um, did as much research as I could, try to figure out how to do this. And I went live one night and it was a, it was it was a huge rush you know oh yeah like one once i finished i was like man that was that was really fun that was really cool i loved that that was a lot of fun because i had people watching me too it's not like i went live and it was just like i was doing nothing like right people actually started watching but you know i had friends that that cared my mom cared my my two best friends they they all joined and they brought with them some other people you know so my first night was a success and it felt really good so i just kept doing it and it just kind of took off from there yeah i would agree when you first start out you know the the biggest way to get up off the ground is is your friends and family and and everybody on your on your actual facebook page to get you up and going having a support group is the biggest it's the biggest thing it, it you you cannot you can't put mo a money value on that absolutely well cool that's cool the stuff to hear that um Red you know, said I, he Red said he's Team Valor, imagine. Probably could have guessed that from a mile away. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, that's cool, man. Um, so in the past I've heard you say that you're a big um taco connoisseur, we could say. Taco uh, connoisseur. Or or cooking connoisseur, anything at all. Uh yeah. I do like to cook. Tell us a little bit about your passion for cooking. Have you always have you always enjoyed cooking? Like, what's your like favorite thing? What's your favorite thing? And and give us like a recipe or something we could we can make in a crib here, later. Yeah, here, here's the deal, see through. I like to eat. Mm hmm. And if, and if I and if I want to eat, I have to make food. Hold on a second. I know it's very nice. Come sit down, please. Sorry. No worries, dude. My Rowan stops into mine every once in a while. If he was here right now, he'd be standing right beside me. Yeah. All right. So I love to eat. I eat. Well, if 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 I, if there's food to eat, I eat it. Even if I'm not, <laughs> not hungry, I just eat food, man. I'm a eater. I'm a eater. So if you're gonna be a, if you're gonna act like that, if you're gonna eat, you gotta you gotta be able to make your own food. Eliza said that your chicken Alfredo is what sealed the deal. Maybe we should maybe yeah. we should get into that. I think that was like <laughs> our second date. I made my chicken Alfredo. And uh yeah, I do make it. 
I do need to bomb Alfredo, my friend. I, nothing from nothing from a jar. It's all it's all from these hands, man. Ooh, these soft touch, silk touch hands. That's awesome. The hardcore grind. Uh, you're not you're not you're not making the noodles though, right? Are you making the noodles nah, too? Nah, I would if uh, I had like the equipment. I yeah, you need like the you yeah. need like the cranker, huh? The, yeah. the noodle cranker. Man, Oops. that would be cool. It's a Christmas present oh, yeah, idea for next year. Like huh? most would. <laughs> How much <laughs> what would you do if you opened a present from I don't know, say see through or something and it has a, a noodle crank in it? <laughs> that would be a great gift. <laughs> that, don't even go. That would be the best gift ever. Yeah, I would love that. That would be a great gift. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, see through cooking stream coming soon. Sheesh. I would blow your mind. <laughs> I'm a big I'm a big foodie foodie too, man. I don't necessarily eat everything, but but I am fairly picky and I and I do know how to cook to an extent. That's good. Yep, yep. I'm thinking maybe some some chicken fajitas today. I got some bell peppers in the fridge. I got some fajita seasoning. I got some chicken. Good. Chop it up. Got some tortillas. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. That sounds good. I might have to do that. Sure. Um, so here's another kind of off the beaten path. What's a couple of your most favorite movies? I know you're, I know you're big at, uh, quoting, quoting movies here and there and now and then. What are, what are a couple that are, that are uh, some of your favorites? Yeah, I li I live and breathe Star Wars. Every, I have more Star Wars. I have a Star Wars t-shirt for every day of the month <laughs> or a few months without doing any ditch, uh, laundry. Nice. I wear a different Star Wars T-shirt every day for a couple months without doing any laundry. That's a that's a lot of Star oh. Wars shirts. So yeah, let me ask Star you Wars. this then, because I know you I have up. you have a VR head or setup, right? I do not. Oh, you don't? I thought you did. You I need don't. to get one because you need to beat Darth Vader. It will blow your mind. Yeah. It's so crazy, man. Like whenever I downloaded this uh, Star Wars game, it's a real short story driven. It, it, it's maybe 45 minutes right like you you kind of you're you kind of start in a spaceship and you're being chased by death stars and stuff and or not yeah. death stars but tie fighters and it's just crazy and surreal and things are blowing up in your head and you're looking around and all of a sudden like droids jump on your ship and you're more or less being being taken hostage mm. and, and then your screen blacks out and you wake up and darth vader like is walking down the hallway right towards you and like the closer he gets, the bigger he gets. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, dude, this guy's massive and so intimidating. You just would never know that. Like you don't get that sensation through the movies. Like it's, it's actually insane. And then I started like punching the buttons on his, on his chest because I was like, oh, I wonder what this does. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, imagine like standing in front of Darth Vader and actually trying to push the buttons on his chest. <laughs> yeah. He would just kill you. He would just, yeah, just a literal evil person. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So Star Wars, uh, let's see here. Uh, if you have a KitchenAid stand mixer, you can get a noodle maker attachment. Ooh, yeah, I, I think I, I have seen I that. I don't have one of those, though. Yeah, KitchenAids are expensive, man. That's a tough investment because they're about 200 bucks. And then they you're, like, and then you're like, yeah, they do. My mom has one since, since we were kids, and it's just yeah. like... But it's like, for me, it's like, man, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to the kitchen. Like, I can cook really well, but I'm honestly lazy, and I have no problem talking about that. <laughs> But I don't know if I'd ever get two hundred dollars worth of of a uh, use out of the a mixer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Ask him about the tattoos. What's that? Yeah. So I've got a tattoo on my arm here. It's the symbol of the Jedi Order, and on my left calf, I have R two D two, and uh, the the artist that uh, that did it was a fairly famous artist in the, the tattoo if you search for r2d2 leg tattoos it'll be the first or second image on google images it got because it got like a million views on instagram or something like that that's wow R2D2. so your so your leg is slightly famous then huh it's more famous than i am yeah <laughs> that's that's awesome <laughs> nothing like having a famous body part make the rest You're of you right. feel left out Jeez, it's a leg. this <laughs> that's funny Texas toast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So on to the next question. 
Uh, what do you do for a living currently, and what have you done in the past, just to kind of give yeah. people an idea of, you know, the life inside of Texas Toast? Yeah. Um, uh, several years ago, I went back to school. I uh, went to a trade school, and I learned uh, HVAC. So I'm a mechanic. I'm really good with working with machines and computers and stuff like that. I uh, always have been. Um, so currently, I am an HVAC mechanic slash technician for the local school district, which is how I get weekends off. Pretty nice because I work for a school district. Right, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I keep the uh, refrigerators and the freezers and the air conditioner and the boilers and ever all that stuff. I keep it going. It's a, you know, I like it. Fun job. Yeah. Have you ever came up? Have you ever came up to a to a maintenance type job to where you just uh, you just can't get it figured out? Yeah. yeah um. Yeah. Yes, I do. Uh huh. Everybody does. If you if you if you're saying that you never encountered something that stumped you, then you're lying. You're lying. <laughs> you're lying. It's lying. usually, ironically, the smaller machines that stump me mm -hmm. because because there's so many like small. I don't know. I, it's hard to explain. There's so many little things that that can, can that can keep it from working. It's like small kitchen equipment is the thing that gets me. When I have to work on small kitchen equipment, I'm like, give me a chiller, you know, give me a <laughs> give me a million BTU boiler because I can work on that. Right. <laughs> when it comes to the little tinies, little stuff, I'm like, man, get this out of here. Right. Uh, <laughs> so. If you had to choose one block in Minecraft, yeah, to have say like sitting behind you as like a lamp or something like that, what would it be? What would be your your one choice? If they made a if they made a lamp if they made a lamp block of every block in Minecraft, ah, I've got that torch <laughs> somewhere around here. It's actually, a joke because <laughs> if. If anybody watches my content, they know that I don't like torches. The only thing I use torches for are mining. <laughs> That's actually really they, funny. <laughs> they go on the wall. They go on the wall for when I'm mining. Other than that, I will not use a torch in my build. I don't like torches laying all over the floor. I don't like them all over the grass. It just it, it breaks the immersion for me. Yeah. I understand that it's necessary to keep your build safe, but... The, like for me when i'm building i'm trying to build a story and it's always been that way even before sandbox kids i want it to be believable like you're in this world right and when the torch is laying all over the place it breaks that immersion so i hate torch spam yeah Eliza, there's no such thing as just tor form. throwing torches on the floor in real yeah. life yeah eliza got this for me when we first started dating it was uh within a month or so of us dating she she got this for me so to answer that question, I already have one sitting behind me, and it's this torch. Awesome. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. So if you had, this is a big question here. Okay. If you had 50 million followers, oh my how, would, how would you use your community to effectively help or change the world? i.e. through um, raising money for organizations or or maybe potentially like helping a friend out like immensely or anything anything like that 50 million subscribers yeah so yeah so you're just like, you're just rocking like 50k I'm, I'm viewers being, a stream so yeah so i've i've got lots and lots of money right mm -hmm. okay um i'm a big advocate for mental health so i would definitely I would definitely have uh, raise money for like suicide prevention and uh, anxiety and depression, things like that, because that's really, that's the pandemic of our generation is mental health. Um, people are more, people are more depressed now than ever. So, so, do you, so do you think helping the cause as a whole would be better or just helping one person in general or or maybe like five people that you know will actually like that you're guaranteed to to affect their life or just donating to the whole in hopes that it'll actually get somewhere both both um because to answer that question i i already have i already have mm -hmm. helped people on an individual level 
Yep. You know, I, I say in in my streams, I say that uh, my DMs are always open. And you just tell me anything. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not even going to... You can tell me anything, and, I, and nobody else will know what you told me. Um, and I've been up till the wee hours of the morning with some people, talking with them. And I've seen people turn their lives around. And that's a... I'm not going to sit here and say that um, it's because of me. But having somebody to talk to without any repercussions really helps. It's a really game changer. Me. Yeah. yeah. Having that yeah, having that unbiased I'm, opinion just to have an ear. Yeah. It's good stuff. And it, it's not like I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a therapist. So I can't I'm not going to tell anybody that I'm here to I'm not gonna give you advice. You know what I mean? Because right. I can't like legally I can't. Or, you know, like I probably don't have the right answers, but I will listen. And I have seen some people turn their lives around and it's uh like it's humbling, you know? Yep. But yeah, yeah, that's a that's a big thing that, that drives a lot of people as a streamer is is they wanna just help help people in general. Yeah. Well, streaming cool. streaming helped me a lot. Um, watching streams got gave me the confidence to be to to start to stream. So the, these couple of guys that I started watching, they they kind of gave me hope, you know. Right. In a time in my life when I felt hope helpless and, and there, that there was no hope, these mm -hmm. two guys were just nice to me, and that's all it took. And so right. the nice streaming, and st it's changed my life. Um, meeting all of these amazing people, and um, just hearing all these different stories all the time. It's it's been one heck of a trip, man. Right. All right. Um, so, do you have a favorite large streamer? Like on that scale, do you have like a favorite person that you watch like occasionally or all the time or anything like that? That's that's on the bigger yeah. end of things. Yeah. Um. So, when it comes to like YouTubers, I like to watch the the Hermitcraft people. There's a guy called IBX Toy Cat. He's like a big, big bedrock Minecraft creator which there aren't many of them and that was what i was doing mostly was bedrock content up until we started the, the sandbox kids i was pretty much only on bedrock and there's not many people who create who who do bedrock content so i right. I, I like ivx toy cat for that um as far as like streamers like here on facebook uh yeah the like the the guy that i watched grow up you know uh ricky live he plays uh warzone oh cool and, yeah he's super cool he's very down to earth super cool dude um zuchi's definitely like on the big end now you know yeah uh, one of my faves i like to watch him um again uh, you know, it's just personality oh yeah personality, it's not really the game that somebody's playing it's is if if i can watch their stream and feel like i'm in a like sitting down with a friend that's what it that's all it takes Mm hmm Trenton asked, uh, who's your favorite hermit? Um, B double O. B double O. You heard it right here on the Block Talk Podcast. I feel like <laughs> I feel like um uh I he's he's the one that inspires me the most. His building style, his uh cre like the, the way that he creates content. That's what I wanna do. So he's he is actually one of the biggest influences for me is B double O. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. That kind of answers my next question, which is, who's your biggest inspiration? <laughs> yeah. As far as content creation, yeah, um, it would be probably Hermitcraft um, in general. I, I really like, okay, so um, among all of them, Good Times with Scar, B00, uh, Tango Tech, uh, those are probably my favorites. I really like Green and Mumbo, obviously. Everybody likes Green and Mumbo. Right. They're just hilarious, but... Cub fan last season did one of the coolest things I've ever seen in Minecraft. Like his he, his new biome that he created was out of this world. It was really really cool. I'll have to and check it, it out. The stuff that I want to do for Sandbox Kids is stuff like that. And Heck yeah, it's, it's cool to watch. Awesome man, that's super cool. Uh, if you had to give a tip, just one tip to all the content creators out there that might be watching this or listen to it in the future, what what would that tip be? Go easy on yourself. 
Take it easy that's on my, yourself. That's my that's my biggest problem. I'm too hard on myself. It's something that I'm really trying to work on. I but I I I I'm not good to myself. <laughs> I hear you. If I mess something up, then I I really uh, I really uh, I take it I take it real personal. You know that's a tough thing as a streamer is is to not take take things personal. You have to you have to kind of step back and and look at the whole picture and look where you started and where you came from. And it's that's a you know some days are bad, some days are good, and and you just got to roll with the punches. Outside of all that, yeah. Um, yeah. So you give yourself a break. <laughs> yeah, and, exactly. Uh, and also, don't think that this is going to be easy. Like if you're just starting out. Don't think you're going to sit down, click go live, and here we go. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of work that goes I made, into it. Look, Ma, I made it. <laughs> hey, look, Ma, I made it. Uh, Aby's oh. actually got a question for you in the chat. Uh, she said, how how do you get so good at the detail work in Minecraft trying to learn for the next season? Yeah. Practice, 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 practice. Um, I have a really good eye for color um like i see color i guess I, i'm not colorblind mm -hmm. but i see colors i guess different and i didn't know this up until just a few years ago i, was, I had a an eye exam and they said that the cones and like i have fewer rods or extra cones something like that whatever it is i see color differently huh. so um i i can dip like if you put two really close reds together to me i see them clearly different but where most people are like, I don't see, I don't see the two different reds. So you know what, what you're mean? saying is you're a superhero then? Uh, yeah, with the most useless superpower <laughs> in the world, which which is very fitting for my overall personality, I guess. <laughs> right. So if you could take, but, so if you could take that really crappy superpower and turn it into an amazing superpower, what would that be? Yeah. I want to be Spider Man. Like Spider Man. Dude, was me too. Wanted... No way. When I was a kid, I wanted to be Spider-Man. Here's the thing, so, right? Yeah. I got I got something about eight feet that way, and I just really want it to be in my hand already. Yeah. And I just want to be able to go. <laughs> right. And it, and it just comes to me. Can... Yeah, yeah, Jedi. Brilliant. Yeah. But um, <laughs> answer her question, just um, practice, 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 practice. I just kept putting blocks together until it looked like what I wanted it to look like. And that's the thing. Like, uh, that's my I, I did like a, a series at one time where I was making these small structures with a high amount of detail inside them. And it's it's difficult, but once you once you get that down, it's um it's like second nature. And then you can start adding it to big things. Like I think start small and then go big. Because it's easy to make things look realistic when you build them really, really, really big. It's more difficult when you start really, really small. Try that. And see, I take the easy way out. You know, I stick with uh, with retro theme things, so I don't have to get too fancy yeah. with it. <laughs> that way, it still looks good and it's nostalgic, and I didn't have to work too hard. There's a lot of fails. <laughs> I got a lot of fails under my belt. For for every one thing that you see that looks cool, there's probably a hundred things that look like crap. So, <laughs> so, so in a one v one death match to the death, who do you think would win? My zombie or your creeper? Oh, creeper. <laughs> you think a creeper, no doubt. Even though, even yeah, though he dies, also died, so it's like a tie, I guess. <laughs> That's funny. I love, I love, uh, I love our little microphone animals. <laughs> I've had this thing here for well over a year, like almost two years now, and uh, yeah, I think it's cool. You've got one. Zuchi's got one. It's the vibe, apparently. It really is. Where well, you got to go. <laughs> It's a little, right. little charm. A little charm. All right, man. Here we go. The last one. It's time for the spotlight for you. Fill everybody in in the chat. Uh, what's your stream schedule? What do you stream? And what things oh. do you have going on in relation to your content? Tell them everything. Everything you got going on. Okay, sure. Um, I try to stream um, every day except for Wednesdays and Sundays. I used to stream seven days a week, but with with the way my lifestyle is it was it, it was literally killing me I, so i just it started like i said give yourself a break 
Don't burn yourself out. I started giving myself the break. Uh, I, t I usually will take Wednesday and Sunday off of stream. Unless there's something special happening with a collab, then I, I you won't see me live on Wednesday or Sunday. Um, generally speaking, I will be live 9.30 Central Time on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, that's, that's the time I shoot for. Now, there, there are times when, uh, like, my son stays up later than usual so so it, whenever he goes to sleep whenever i have him that's when i go live but generally speaking 9 30 central monday tuesday thursday friday and saturday there you go you got it and guys his link is right here on the screen it's also in my chat and it will also be on the audible version of the podcast here so uh does anybody have any questions this is something i didn't do yesterday does anybody in the hat, hat, in the hat, in the hat, yeah. hat, in the chat have questions specifically directed to either me or, or Toast here? Specifically. Specifically. Atlantically. That's what I'm going to start saying. Gulf anybody at all? Hi, I'm new here. I hope for one day you will be successful. Man, I'm successful already. I was successful day one when I met my very first person. <laughs> that's all. It, that's all it is, man. Yeah. Why the sad about, face? Uh, uh, let's see here. Did I miss any questions? AB said, I definitely appreciate toasting your help and that and the SBK's help with my detail and design. Sure. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, Red says, do you have any spoilers for SBK season one? Which I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if, if you do or not. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I I'm pretty much know everything that's going to happen so. so here's so here's how we can do this okay exclusively on block talk we okay. might be able to release one minuscule detail one detail it's like a little data mine situation where where if you want to know about it you're gonna have to tune in i think he's ch he's trying to make me into the mark ruffalo of uh, sandbox <laughs> that's funny go to an interview and just start dropping all the stuff oh yeah thanos, thanos wins in the next episode we're all gonna die <laughs> bro what are you doing that's awesome haven't even watched the trailer yet you idiot no. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what red wants he wants me to be the mark ruffalo of the team the which, spoiler you know, alert maybe I, am. maybe I am but spoilers uh -huh. um yeah look to the nether look to the nether this there's going to be a lot of, uh, we're going to see the, the, the little tastes that you've gotten of this evil stuff. Like clearly something bad's happening, right? You're going to, it's really going to come to light in this se next season. You're going to see, uh, a lot of, you're going to see a lot of cool stuff. There may be some wars fought over this. Ooh, there it is. There's the slip. I like it. All right, there's your there's your there's your sneak peek into yeah. what potentially is season one official of Sandbox Kids. Yeah. Uh, Tracy also, Source says, uh, "What is your favorite thing from the pilot season? What was your favorite thing from the pilot season?" That's a pretty good question. There's so many cool things. Um, Theater wraps. I, I don't know if y'all saw it. You have got to go to Theater Wraps YouTube and watch. Watch this this Wither Skull farm that he made. If you have not seen it, it's it's truly amazing. Like he has these, it's a totally automated system. It's crazy. It's like a machine huh. that just gets you. It's a one hundred percent chance you're gonna get a Wither Skull out of this thing. Oh it's, yeah, it's the one with the creeper, the charged man. creepers and stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah that's an insane design. That's I mean, insane. I saw that. That blew my mind. It blew my mind. That it was at that moment that I knew Sandbox Kids was definitely like we were bigger than I ever thought because we got talent like these guys in here, like Bearded Wonder, um, you, uh, freaking uh, Theater Rap. Like these guys are super talented, you know. Um, yeah, Trap has definitely blew my mind about three yeah. times already. When it comes to things that I built this season, um, 
the pig race i i freaking love the pig race the the, the oink 500 or whatever we're calling it i don't remember the the, tele- the flying away with a guy on a pig memes those are those are yeah. good ones <laughs> the pig race is, is a lot of fun the cat the palace the palace that i made is easily my favorite thing i've ever built in minecraft uh, every time i i start a new build i try to do something different and i really went different this time and i was very <laughs> pleased with what happened with that one all right let's see one more question here let's see uh what's your what was your least favorite build that you've ever done they are just been like oh nope i'm scrapping this i can't what was your what was your end game and then you decided just to walk out on it maybe it's happened a couple of times actually um i i have this vision in my head of a big mountain with a fortress carved into that mountain an ancient fortress carved into that mountain and on top of that ancient for a fortress a new tower like erupting out of the top of it Mm -hmm. like a a wizard tower that was not built by hands but magically added there you know what i mean right Uh, and there's a there's a story behind it too there's there's lore behind it too and i got this image in my head and i have not been able to get it out with the blocks yet because i i think i just need more practice there's i'm still new to minecraft you know i've been playing for about two years uh right so I'm still learning how to manipulate the things to, to get them to, to the way I want. And plus, when I first started making it, um, some of the blocks that exist now that would make that build better didn't exist. So mm-hmm. I think soon I'm going to restart that build a third time, but third time's a charm. I'm going to get it done this time. Heck yeah, man. Well, that's cool that you have uh, aspirations to at least get it get her done. Yeah awesome man well guys i think we'll wrap it up there i don't know how long we've uh this is 37 minutes this is a really good one really good length here (laughs) uh all right guys well thanks for joining us i hope you enjoyed it like i said earlier you can catch this on all podcast platforms here very soon spotify is already up and running if you have spotify check it out block talk block talk and uh we will catch you all block talk tomorrow with another one with another one with maybe somebody different all right well y'all take it easy bye everybody see ya thanks for hanging out bye is it